me knock out some super chats here. Um, uh, Grand Moff Alexander, how long until we hear Chris Chan is dead, lads? Oh, hopefully soon. I don't know. You were going wait, to bat. What? Wait a minute. Wait, you were going wait, to bat for him, right? Like, what the fuck? And now he's yeah, that was a he, he, cats. We, I, I systematically <laughs> dismantled all these people taking advantage of him. I, I did. I, I fucking skewered like a dozen little fucking retard kids that were fucking with this guy. I got all these bad influences out of his life. I contacted the police to try and get him help, try to get these people who were <laughs> swindling him of thousands of dollars money. And built up a nice little circle, filtered out people, so he wasn't getting his delusions uh, emboldened by people trying to get him to do shit. And he didn't want that. He he, he like he faded out of contact with everybody because people like people didn't want to talk to him about fictional universes. Wait, I, I just want to be clear on this. Are you telling me the dude that runs Kiwi Farms, you got conned by one of the biggest locals out there? I didn't, con <laughs> I didn't lose anything for it. Well, no, no, you, you, got, got, you, got, you, got, no, you got all the trolls off his back, and then he dumps your ass like a bad day. Oh, the, <laughs> the the people who were fucking with him were funnier than Chris has been for years, which was uh, part of the, uh, the double edge for that. Um, but, uh, like, I gave him a chance and said, look, I'll help you out. And I had people who were willing to help him out, and he didn't want people who were not uh, playing pretend with him and with the dimensional shit. And eventually it's just like... Chris, you can do whatever you want, but I'm not going to talk to you about, I remember about me, me too. Getting in a huge argument about this, like I don't know, five. No, or six I still hold. If if he were, and, then, and now you're just like they said, when we're going to hear Christian Dodd, and you said hopefully soon. It's like what the <laughs> fuck? That was out of nowhere. I still stand by everything that I said. I don't regret anything that I've done. I gave him a chance, and he didn't want it. He okay. wants to talk to people who will play pretend with uh, Mewtwo and Sonic <laughs> Two and. <laughs> And it's just like, you know, I don't want any part of that. I'm not going to embolden your, your delusions, buddy. I'm sorry. I would, I would be willing to help you out if you were trying so to help you, yourself. I mean, were you under the impression that uh, his behavior was spurred on by those around him rather than... I mean, so you learned the hard way that like he is the source of his own fucking problems. He, he is, but in this particular... like I don't even know where like how much these guys broke him to the point where he's willing to continue to use the things they got him to say as like a blanket. Um, I, like I don't, I don't know, uh, but I, I fucking well, what's, hated this. What's going on with like the convergent shit and the CPUs and the dead cats? Like, I don't is know. That, I haven't been talking to him. He used to him? send me, he used to be sending me text messages and stuff every day. We talked about you know inane shit, and uh, eventually he got more and more, uh, less and less frequent with the messages he was sending to the point where we don't talk for weeks unless he wants something. Uh, I, I gotta more. say, man, like the videos he did with Barb disgust me. Like she's she's yeah. all up and she looks like she's Barbara completely Western there's dead Arizona. eyes and those shit. were her idea. I don't buy that You're for a second. She she hands it up for the camera. Network. Nah, that, that that look you can't fake that look. That's the look of a woman. Oh yeah, Barb Barb, Barb has been an emotional like, manipulator her entire life. I I don't I don't disagree. I, I, and I I think she's been a horrible woman that's done terrible things and has used him quite a bit. But I think he's gonna be dead probably by mid next year. Like she is on her way out. Her her video the videos with her. Are and what you doing with yourself? I, I tell you, uh, you can disagree. No, who told you that? Chris told you that, you and like Chris played your ass. I don't <laughs> buy what he's no, telling. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, I, I gotta ask, who the fuck are these people? Sorry for being <laughs> they're, 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 they're retards on the internet. And yeah, there you go. What do you okay, like to drink? Fine. And like and what these pe these two people uh, were a couple at one point and and now she's. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. That bad. Yes. Okay. I don't know. I have no Delicious. idea what you, what you, who you're referring to. Their meal replacement Chris is shakes. the OG low cow. If you ever hear the word so, low cow, Chris no, Chris was it. Chris was numero uno, and his now. shit's still going on, uh, but he's in the. More and more pathetic well, state every fucking year to the point where this vibrant, dumpy kind of sped guy who was making cartoons and, and, and laughing about it and trying to do his comics, his comics on the internet. And now he's dressed in drag. He's surviving almost entirely off of uh, McDonald's. He looks like uh, Benjamin Franklin with purple hair. And his mother is on the verge of death. And before, like, they were both alive and stuff. And, but now she's, she's so nasty. She just, like, stays in her chair and, and has him go out and get fucking McDonald's for her and shit. And she's going to die in her own trash. 
yeah, I, I like coach. I don't know if you know the look I'm talking about, but like, there's this look people get, mm -hmm. like when they're on death's door, and she has it. It's like a dead eye look. Yeah, where it's I just it. vacant. They're vacant. Like it's the lights gone out. Yeah, and, like she is. She is toast. Like the will to live is gone. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's with her, it's over. So. I, I don't. It's going to be the darkest saga for him because once she's gone, I don't know what. I, the I disagree. Once she's dead, he's gonna he's gonna be better off because she she takes a lot of money from him. She she takes like nine hundred fifty dollars out of the thirteen hundred dollars a month he makes off of uh, off of uh, welfare income for disability, and she spends it mostly on shit. Well, yeah, but he's not going to be living in that house. No, right? the house is gone. Yep. Uh, do you think he's going to be able to competently manage his bills? He's going to spend it all. He's going to take his tugboat and he's going to spend it on the newest PS4 games. And then he's going to go on the internet and say, buy my comics because I'm going to be homeless if I don't pay my fucking rent by the first or the well, third. The thing is, when Bar we had a plan in place for Barb dying and we were legit going to fucking drive over there and manage his <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I swear to God, I am a I am a fucking bleeding heart. I was gonna do this. I had other people who lived very nearby, people who had uh, contacts with uh, uh, assisted living facilities and shit, and we had a fucking battle plan. And it's just like over time, you you lose you lose a lot of sympathy for him just because of how intentionally he he alienates people who don't want to play exactly to the to the T with what he wants to do. And what he wanted to do was further submerge himself in this fucking delusional bullshit that I can't stomach. <laughs> I want to see this. I'm picturing a reality show with you and some of your fucking mods living with Chris. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's funny. I get it. It's 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 fucking hysterical, and people made jokes about that shit. But it's like I I, I just imagine myself with like one of those those green see through visors over a calculator, um, like planning the taxes and shit. Like <laughs> that's how, like that's my mental image of this shit. And I, I'm just not gonna do it now because. I, I can't I can't deal with the fucking the Mewtwo shit. And whenever you talk to him, you never talk to him because whenever you talk to him, he sends a message back like, mm, "Yeah, I had I had a conversation with Mewtwo, and she's a she assures me that this is going to happen in the next week." Or I'll tell him something like new information that he should be aware of. And he's like, mm, "Magic Chan told me about that, and this just confirms that." And it's just like, eh, I'm, "I'm not I'm not doing this. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry, but not sorry. I'm not I'm not playing this game." This sounds so depressing. This sounds like, oh, who are these people? Why are they entertaining? It, it, it is depressing to a point, but it's also pretty funny. At least it was at the start with Chris, because Chris in the beginning was mostly just Chris. But then you had people kind of coming in and directing what happened. I mean, you had you know, the PVCC stuff. What was it? Blue Spike, the one that got him to sh uh, shove stuff up his ass. <laughs> no. uh, you know, just yeah, like that, and you know, now I guess Josh is gonna fly out and hug him when his mom gets him. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't, I don't uh, know what the fuck is going on anymore. I'm, I'm Josh. People, people should know this. I'm a I'll, nice I'll, guy. I'll right okay. Trip. Oh man, that's fucking funny. I mean, the... I don't, I don't mind helping people, but you gotta <laughs> please tell me you were gonna show up in a pickle suit and fucking dig his mother up or something. <laughs> <laughs> No, dude, I, I have a lot of fucking sympathy for people. I'm, I'm not I'm not out to get people. I, I think that surprises a lot of people, but it's just it's just true. I, like, I, if I, I, if I, somebody I, I hear this story I always, it sounds horrifying. It sounds like like just horrifying, like something out of some perverse sideshow uh, freak show or whatever the hell, you know? Yeah, as time goes on, you realize more and more that he, like, his life after Barb dies, if he, it can go either way. Either he can get help and he can fix himself, which he might. If he's in a dire enough situation, he starts to, his, his bullshit goes away and he's willing to, to play game with people. But if he sticks to his guns, yeah, he's going to be like, uh, I did a stream on Tommy Tudor. He's going to be, he's going to be worse than Tommy Tudor. He's going to be homeless. He's going to be digging through the trash. Probably live streaming himself on his fucking iPhone, oh, digging God. through trash, oh, like God. in the McDonald's and shit. Like, yeah, it's it's like it's gonna be fucking dark. 